A quick update before we get into the video. For most of this video, I'm probably calling it Newer, but uh, I talked to my contact there and they said it was pronounced Newer. So my apologies for saying incorrectly, but in my defense, I am from Kentucky. And that's how I talk. Here we have the Kneewear 79 inch tripod. It comes in its own little pouch. It came out, it was in a box, of course, but this is how it came. So let's take a look at what's inside here. I like that, it has a little pocket in here. This is where your shoulder strap is and like some tools and Allen wrench. Looks like a, a bigger thumb screw essentially. I'll leave that in there. I don't plan on using that shoulder strap. I might mean, like they come with the package, but I don't see me transporting it too often. Well, that is a heavy duty pin. Wow. All right, so it gives you a little bit of directions. They're not in English. Oh, there's a quick release plate up here. Okay, so this big foam guy was protecting here. Foam guy protecting this piece as well. And there's a very large quick release plate up here. Oh, that's nice. So it's just one big clamp. My current one, I gotta screw and unscrew things. So, hmm, an individual leg there. Then on the head itself, you unscrew that and the quick release plate comes out. I like that, the little nub in there to hold my camera. And then this guy screws in the bottom. Oh, it even has like a rubber protector so you can't pop the screw out. That's nice. Okay, so I'm digging this. Even tells you which way the lens should go. So the lens should be facing this way. All right, well, this is not the best scenario to unbox this thing. Let me play around a little bit more and then we'll get a better setup here. I just wanted to show you how it came packaged up and then we can make a video on how to use it. All right, so here we are. Here is the newer. I got confirmation that is how you pronounce it, newer. I always thought newer was the right way, but I was incorrect. So there's a couple things about this tripod. One is super sturdy. Like it doesn't feel like it's gonna get knocked over very easily, which is good because I knocked over this camera once upon a time and broke it, which sucked. So a couple sweet things here. So it's a little stiff like this. You just unscrew this guy and it gets lighter. And then it comes out, which is a pretty cool little trick. So you can ratchet it, but if you get somewhere where you can't move it, like right here, I can't, you can just move it and then tighten it. So it pops off, comes back around, so you can kind of like re-ratchet it basically. It's a pretty neat little trick. And then same thing with this one, to go up and down, you can make it looser or you can really tighten it in so you can't even hardly move it, right? I mean, I'm really strong, so I could just rip it to pieces, but normal people probably can't do that. I still don't really know what this is for, but this piece, same kind of doohickey here, another one of these little screw jobs here, right? This little guy, you gotta loosen it up and then it can wiggle a little bit, but still can't come out until you press the red button and then it can only slide out backwards. So there's an arrow on here. There's also an arrow on there. So you can tell, like it shows the arrow and the lens going that way. So if I went like this, I can't even do it. It's blocked back here. So you can only go one way, which is a nice little design and now it can't come out. So it's still loose though, until you tighten this guy down and now it's not going anywhere, right? So that's pretty nice. That's nice. So here's the newer slider. This would be the back and that would be the front. Currently I've just been sitting on tabletop and it's been very well, it's been very good helping me with my B-roll. I need more B-roll. As much as I like this kit, this little case, it is a pain taking it in and out all the time. I need it just set up all the time. I can't, I only have one table here. I'm remodeling my whole area here. So will get better, but for now, I only got one table. So this is a big sturdy thing and the Neewear tripod is a big sturdy thing. So this was my original plan in the first place anyhow. Put this guy on that guy, right? So the lens goes to the front here and this is the back anyhow. So that works up perfectly. I'll put this little nub. This nub doesn't really move. This one can slide around so we can fit that nub in the front there. And then we just find a screw hole. This works, should fit right there. And then screw them nice and tight. Screw it. So now got this slider guy and we can just slide them right in there. All right, let me move this up a little bit so you can see. You can slide it right in and it clicks. So now it's stuck in there. And let me get it centered a little bit. And now once we got it centered, we just tighten up this other guy. And now look at that. I can move it this way. I can move it this way. Pretty legit. So I was just using this slider to record my razor blade and I learned that this little handle guy, you know, it was hitting the rack earlier if I had to adjust it and move it downwards, right? Like before, you know, I had it up like this and it would hit right here. So I had to lower it down like this and I can still adjust it how I would like, but it doesn't hit the moving target now. So it's pretty good. Four to six weeks later. All right, at this point, I've had these products unboxed and used for a little over two months for my use case. I found the 
newer tripod and the slider to be a winning combination and it just works great like this for me so again one last time if it wasn't clear i love the tripod it's very sturdy it works great for everything i need it for i love it i'm very thankful newer sand over i can very comfortably recommend this product i think it's top-notch high quality